Great things, my fellow warriors. Boy, me cannibal. Another week, another grind. And uh, today, I'm deciding to vlog um, this episode because uh, I guess New Year and um, I'm getting my new uh, major cycle started, uh, my new programming, and I'm excited to share with you guys. So I'll get, uh, I'll go through my uh, workouts. Uh, routine in a de- um, in a detailed manner as much as I can. I usually don't like to do those because uh, keep me out of focus. The fact that I have to talk to the camera all the time uh, during my workout uh, makes it a little too distracting. Because whenever I'm working now, I like to be dialing and focus 100% or 120%. Uh, so that's that. So we shall see. Had a good weekend, good rest. Um, I had. To- Two, two consecutive days of resting. Uh, last time I worked out was Friday and it was my last day of deload. Um, uh, that's that. I just took my break from work. I uh, had some uh, some cluster of clients uh, from 8 to 12. Now I'm back to take care of myself uh, as it should be done. Probably some good three hours of workouts because Guess what? Today I decided I'm going to start training legs again. Oh man. I know, I know, I know. I said that we'll wait until like um, February or something like that, but I think I waited long enough, man. I want to work back squat again. So let's see uh, where I stand uh, strength wise. Uh, and, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Before, let's get a quick stop. My favorite place, my favorite coffee place, Einstein Bagel. Oh, nice and cool, all black. Very quick. Uh, Hopefully it's the last stop before the workout. How's it going, man? Good, man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hey, what's up? How's it going, man? About to get started. Um, um, we're going to warm up first. I uh, like to run uh, about a mile or so uh, at the beginning of my workout. So that's how I incorporate my uh, cardio. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I keep it like really low intensity, me moderate intensity at best. Keep my heart rate uh, below 75% of my maximum heart rate and uh, that's it. Give me a good warm up and give me ready in case I want to transition to a more uh, intense endurance work. So I stay ready. And also what I do is I keep my uh, uh, my mouth closed uh, during the, the cardio, so even though it's low intensity, I get my uh, diaphragm and my uh, uh, what you call it? my breathing uh, mechanism to get strong. So that's that. Let's run a little bit.
All right, um, it's going to be uh, the first time back since December. And uh, uh, before I start the squat session, I'd like to test my front lever uh, level first so I can see where I stand and what kind of gain I've made after the deload. And then we're going to get to the, uh, the front, uh, uh, the back squat session. And soon after that, we resume with the upper body. And it's gonna made, be made up of half lays, uh, archer pull-ups in different tempo, a faster tempo, um, some iron cross work, and some uh, rings, handstand push-ups for a high, higher volume rate. So that should be about it. Uh, let's see where we stand when it comes to front lever. Feeling heavy. Okay, here's the situation. Um, we got 225, felt heavy, um, something in the RPE of uh, RPE of seven, so probably had like three more in me uh, before I reached failure, which is no good. That I means I did lose some endurance or so strength, I guess. And uh, I would have jumped to 315, but for the sake of uh, keeping it conservative so I can have a successful upper body and uh, tax my system, I'll keep it on 275 and let's see how the 275 feel, even though I feel like it's still gonna be heavy in the RPE of three or maybe two. Uh, I would say two is what I would anticipate. And uh, from then, if that's as I anticipate, I'll just keep it on 275 and work with it because the goal here is not to uh, ego lift, it's just to assess your current uh, strength and build back up from there. And it won't take me too long because I already had like a, uh, a good uh, standard already. So let's give it a try and see how 275 will feel. if I should go up or not. Uh, let me go up. 295. Or even more. 
looks like I wasn't warmed enough and as I'm warming up I can I'm, I'm keep on I'm keeping the, the rise I uh, kept uh, going and uh, uh, let me think about it for the next three minutes and see whether I stop it there or I go high. Alright, we're going for it. 350. Get a good five in me, I think. But um, I still, I'm gonna stop there and build from it. So I want to believe that I have a good 365 today, but uh, we stopped at 315 and uh, let me get my work set. In. All right, I'll work with 80%, 90%, and 93% of uh, this newly set max. Just one roll, three set, uh, work set, and done. Uh, now I have plenty of energy for my upper body work. And now uh, I'm going to go through some front lever work. Uh, this time on this middle cycle, I'm going to work with some half lays and um, bang them up at high frequency almost every day, five to six days a week. So we're going to start with that. And like you saw, I tried. Um, the, the whole, the full lever at the beginning before the squat and I'm going to try it again after to see the consistency with the form and uh, that will give me a better appreciation of uh, how fresh I still am so this is a little bit of idea of how uh, I tend to gauge myself of my energy level uh, to continue the workout and then we have some ring, punch duck, some archers, iron cross and ring handstand push up so I have five exercises that I'm going to be doing for the upper body but guess what only two sets of each and um, there you go let's do it yeah. Thank you. 
sets of seven repetitions. enough to pick back up fast to where I left it um, yeah looking forward just gonna be conservative really taking my time I'm just gonna be training the squad once a day not pushing it so that I can uh, uh, make progress and still not inhibit my gymnastic work and possibly gonna pick back up with a deadlift sometime end of spring we shall see um, we just see how my body responds to it. And as far as my upper body, everything is perfect. Uh, whatever I've programmed and whatever I've uh, planned to do went well. So looking forward to the remaining of the week. Uh, having five days a week of split, uh, three heavy days, I mean, three intense days, and uh, three recovery, I mean, uh, active recovery days where I only do some holds for a few sets here and there, greasing the groove throughout the day uh, in between clients. So that's about it, man. About to head to work.
eating yet I'm starting to get hungry it's about 5 30 so far uh, I thought I would handle until uh, about 8 9 when uh, off but now nah, it's creeping up to me I think it's more because I'm thinking about food We are done with the hardest part of the day. All right, guys, done with the hardest part of the day. Uh, about to stop at some grocery store and get me some yogurt. Uh, usually, the type of food I'm munching uh, when I'm editing my videos late night or programming for my clients. And um, yeah, might get some other goodies. I usually go just for one thing and I end up racking a bunch of stuff. And uh, yeah, so next stop, Whole Food. Home sweet home. Take it boy. Take it boy. Take it boy. Take it boy. All right, we are home. <coughs> it's been a long day. 9 p.m. and um, I'm hungry. It's been 21 hours with no food. Last time I ate was yesterday. And uh, this is gonna be one of these days where I eat once a day. I generally I eat as I go, depending on how I feel. But I've built up to get you get to getting used to eating once a day uh, last year by doing a lot of intermittent fast so my typical eating habit is intermittent days but uh, even when uh, when I want to eat regularly I tend not to be able to because I'm just not used to eating breakfast so yeah the earliest I eat is usually 11 and that's like when I go get some coffee and I see some bakery I'm like oh man should I should I not I then I get one so other than that usually my main meal is in the evening when I get home or oh, sometimes I get super hungry mm, by 6 p.m. 4 p.m. I get something quickly to keep me full until I get home so today I got some yogurt. It's a brand. It's called Liberté. Uh, it's, a, it's a yogurt that I started drinking about two weeks ago. Kind of like it because of the coffee flavor. I love coffee. Give me anything with coffee flavor. I'll give you the world. And... Uh, has another flavor, coconut, another one of my favorite uh, fruit. And uh, yeah, I bought a whole rack of them, about 10. On top of that, I got some cheese. Uh, lately, I've be, I been wanting to eat some cheese. I'm not, it's, I'm not a habitual cheese eater, but for some reason, lately, I start getting into it and I kind of like it. So every once in a while, I will get a different cheese flavor and brand to see how it tastes like, or what it tastes like. And then last but not least, got some pomegranate, two of them. I like them, good flavor. Most of all, filled with antioxidants. So I, uh, I put them in my uh, regimen. I know. Oh, last, 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 above all, let's see what my golden angel got me. Bingo. Some steak, plantain, carrots, celery, for veggies, and I get some white rice to season. That's going to be my dinner for today. And it's looking real good. So, recap for the day. It was a good day. I'm excited to get back into squatting. Um, upper body training was good, you know. 
Now back to the squatting. Yeah, like I told you during the workout, I could have gone to 365 or something closer, but I know that pushing it would just be a waste of my energy. So I kept it conservative and I made sure that uh, I resist the urge to go up, which I finally did. I had to talk to a friend of mine over there to convince myself that I should stop because yeah, it's always that urge to prove to yourself that you got it and this and that, but you know, you need to do better. Yeah, when you know better, you should do better. So I did better today. That's a good thing. Uh, upper body, everything was good. Everything went as planned. The highlight of the workout was uh, the iron cross. It was pretty solid. I felt strong. I'm using the red band. That's two band lower than where I started. And uh, yeah, it was good. And I think the the red band give you um, a range of assistance between 10, five, between five pound and uh, 25 pound. That's the range that is spread. I mean, it's spread to under tension. So I, I'm not sure, I couldn't give you an exact number. So the assistance is getting lower and lower and I was able to get to uh, my own parallel to the floor, at least in the first set. So it was good. And it's one of these things that I am cross, I'm very careful. No injury is needed right now, so I'm really sensitive to the feedback as I go lower. And uh, when I reach a threshold that I don't feel comfortable, I just retract back. And that may even be one of the reasons why my progress is um, slower, even though it's pretty fast. I mean, it's only been like two and two months, but I probably could have rushed it, but having some injury risk is not worth it. So I'm listening to my body and so far so good. I'm excited. We shall see at the end of this uh, three three weeks overload and one week deload. I will see uh, what kind of strength gain I will have working with the red man. It should be interesting. So that's that. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy this vlog today. I'm gonna try and do that as often as I can, but we will see, yeah, maybe once every other week or once a week, I will see, yeah, so that's that, uh, let me go to eat, man, I'm hungry, I'm tired, back to work tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., everything is, and we always be, let me carry them away, salute.